how to turn this plain video into a newsroom. This video will show you how to create your own news video including a banner, a logo, and a picture that flies across the screen. The software used is Wax 2.0, a free program that is available to download. It's capable of several effects including chroma key, a main feature needed for this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Open up Wax and set your video's frame height and width in project settings. Make sure your video is an AVI file and open it from your gallery. Click the video and drag it to your timeline. Right now I'm playing my video to see where I want it to start. This seems good. So now I'm going to trim the beginning to that point and drag the whole clip back. This is an optional set. Go to Video Plugins and drag Chroma Key underneath your video. Select the eyedropper tool and select the color you want out. Any color that isn't Chroma Key can be moved out of the video. Select Quick 3D and change position X. Go to Media Pool and select a Newsroom Background. Now crop any unwanted objects in the shot. This can be done by scrolling down in Quick 3D and finding Crop. Now put your newscaster in the middle of the video. This can be done by positioning X. And make sure to crop out any other unwanted colors. If your background video ends too soon, click and drag it several times till the end of your video. I'm now setting an endpoint to my video by trimming the back of the timeline. This is also optional. In this frame, my elbow is cut off. This is because the cropping did earlier. If your video has this problem, click on the little gray circle. It keyframes how much is cropped at that point. Now my arm is not cut off. After you keyframe your object back in, Make sure to crop the rest of it back out. Now save the video and open the edited copy. Select chroma key to get the rest of any color still there. If this step is unnecessary to you, skip to 432. If not, make sure to re-import your news background and chroma any color left that wasn't already. Open up your saved copy and place it on the timeline. Now Google a picture of your topic. Mine is hugs. So I take this picture and save it to my gallery. Now you can use any logo you like. I'm just going to Google one.
For copyright reasons, I'm going to flip the B to a D. Yeah, that's sloppy, but honestly, it won't be noticed. Add green around your logo for it to be chrome. First, import both pictures into the media bin. Now, add your logo and stretch it to the end. Chroma the green that's inside of your logo. Drag Quick 3D under your logo to shrink it and position it to where you want. After you've done that, drag your topic picture into the timeline and do the same. Keyframing is the main feature for this part of the edit. You can scale X or Y, position the picture anywhere you want, and it's up to you to decide how fast you want it to fly in. What I'm going to do is an example of what can be done. Please enjoy this video of me keyframing while I play some music. software you have, use it and save it as an AVI file. Like earlier, use Quick 3D to scale down the banner. At this point, you want to add your news box. I just made this one pink. Chroma out the unwanted color in the picture and for the last time, use Quick 3D to scale down and keyframe the news bar. After adding some words and sound to your final product, it should look something like this. Good afternoon, this is Midday News Expo. I'm on a medical discovery. A recent study shows that hugs actually help you better in life. Hugs make you feel better, releasing chemicals into your brain, increasing positive boosting your chances for success. Other things like chocolate and free money have the same effect in the So it is recommended to give a hug or eat some chocolate today of hope and the long run. Thank you for watching my long tutorial. I hope to help. Have fun creating your own news. Be creative and enjoy. I'm Scott and that's all from Scott Help.